Hello, welcome to SQL Tutorials from Zero to Hero. In previous video, we saw from where we can download the SQL software and different ways to connect to SQL Server. You can find this link to my SQL channel if you visit if you visit my YouTube channel for the SQL Tutorials. In the description, I have included this list. If you click on this list, this will navigate to a page from where you can download the SQL software. In this video, we will learn how do we create a database and with the help of Management Studio, how do we create a table, what are SQL constants and how do we enforce these SQL constants to a table. Let's flip to SQL Management Studio. As you can see, I'm trying to connect to a local server. So, as of now, we can see I've got two databases. So let's try to create a new database. For creating a new database, you can use create database. You can give database name as SQL demo and go. So when you refresh this folder, you will see SQL demo here. By default, it creates a skeleton of your database. You can see several folders, table, views, synonym, programmability, etc. We'll talk about all these folders in upcoming videos. As you can see, we have got this tables folder. If I right click on this and say new table, so this will help me to create a table. So this table has, let's say, two columns. One is course ID and data type is integer and then course name, say varchar. If you click on this drop down, you will be able to see different data types here. Begin, binary, bet, car, date, date, time. So we are interested in where care. So where care is for string data type. So I want to have one column which is created date and I want to make it as date time and I would say created by. I want to make it as where care 10. So here you can drag it before this in order to have this column before created date. So this flexibility is given by this SQL Server Management Studio. Same thing can be done with the help of script, but we'll see that later. So let me try to save this table, Control S, and let me make it as course master. So if I refresh this folder tables, I should be able to see one table here, course master. If I edit it, let's try to insert some record to this one. And as of now, I will have to type each and every field here. So, course name say SQL, created by say Akhil, and created date say 2019, say 2021, 4th, and today's 3rd April. Alright. So now, if I click on this and say select top 1000 rows, so this will help you to get all records that you have inserted so far. So far you have seen how do we create a database and how do we design a table and we can see what records have we inserted to this table. So let's flip to design mode. Right click and say design. For create a date, we have date time. So what I want to do is like when user inserts, I want to have current date inserted automatically. And I will go to default value or binding and I'll say get date. If I go to this tab and type select get date, this is inbuilt function. So if I execute it, this is giving me current date. So I want to enforce this default constraint to this one. Let's save it. Control S. As of now, you can see we have got this star. That means this design has not saved yet. Let's try to insert a record here to see my SQL. Okay, and let's execute it. Right click and then execute SQL. If you see by default, it inserted this value. So far, we have created this table and we have enforced one default constraint to this one. Let's see behind the scene what are the scripts that is getting created for creating this table. If you see, by default, SQL Server Management Studio have created this script. 
if you flip to design mode of this table you can see against every column there's allow nulls as checked which says that you can enter null value to this column as well so let's try to so let's try to enter one record so let me put cos id as null and here sap sap bods and say author is a kill and enter right click and execute sql so you can see we are able to insert null record as well but i don't want to have this cos id as null nullable so let me delete it and here let me uncheck this checkbox so Control s let me save it and here let's now try to insert null value and say sap a kill and enter so you can see sql server management studio is not allowing you to insert a null value to this column thanks for watching this video have a nice day